Welcome to another Collective Access tutorial. Today we'll be going over some error assessment tools. Uh, one of the issues, as you may be aware of in database work, especially if you're new to a museum, is knowing where to start. We all know there are problems that need fixing, uh, but how exactly do you find those problems without wasting a whole lot of time? Well, this is where our new Browse button comes into play. So when you go up to Find, Objects, Browse, you'll notice a new option just in the center here, our Problems button. Yep, let's admit it, your database has some problems, and that's okay, just as long as you know they're there and you're working towards fixing them. Uh, so there are a number of problems that we've identified and told the database to flag. So clicking on the Problems button here will bring up a list, and then you can select any of these from the list to get to uh, the specific record. So here we only have one problem in our list, which is good. So from here it's just a simple matter of working through the list. So once a record is corrected, it will disappear from this list, and once there are no more problems of that type, you won't actually see uh, problems as a browse option. So when we go into our problem here, it's telling us that the object name for this particular record is too long. So the word count, yep, we can see that sugar dish roses and gold isn't a correct object title in keeping with nomenclature 3.0. So if we go into the record here, you'll notice a few details. First, we have a lovely yield sign over on the left hand corner here, alerting you to the number of problems requiring attention. So here we just see we have the one, the object name which should be bowl comma sugar to make it simple. And you'll also see yield signs in the problem fields themselves. So here it's right by the object name, so we know. If you need some help or assistance with uh, trying to clean up your data, you're not sure what to put into the field exactly, if you click the little I button here, it will bring up some helpful help text uh, for you to figure out what to do. And if the problem in question is deemed too serious, um, you won't be able to save the record until it's fixed. So something like this, uh, you will be able to save the record as is. Um, but for more serious problems like accession number duplication, that may require some more uh, deep digging. However, once you fix your object name in this record, for example, you should be good to go. And you should no longer have a problems tab pop up because that will indicate that all of your records are deemed clean and you don't have a problem anymore. On your dashboard, the quality alerts widget will let you know which records were rejected by our novamuse.ca quality control filter. So first of all, to get this widget, you have to be on your dashboard. And up at the top right here, click on Edit Dashboard, Add Widget. And this will bring up a list of helpful widgets that you can choose to add to your dashboard if you think they'll be of any help to you. So if we click on the quality alerts, it will add it to our dashboard. And we can actually move this around for easier access. And so our list is essentially telling us that we have eight items that have, rejected, have been rejected from novamuse.ca due to quality issues. So if we click on the little plus sign here, we'll go into one of the records. A lot of the problems you'll see in that list are the same as the Problems Browse tab, so you can use either tool to help clean up your records. So for example, in the record we clicked on here, the problem is that uh, there is a non-alphanumeric character in the object name field. So this means that the question mark in the object name field isn't allowing it to go up on notenews.ca because of the quality control filter. So this, for example, is an easy fix. I just need to remove the question mark and then once the overnight synchronization with novamuse.ca has taken place, the corrected record will disappear from the widget list and it will be 
good to go on novelviews.ca. So there you go. Those are some helpful, quick ways to clean up the data in your database. So good luck and happy cataloging.